What's going on guys and welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings franchise series here on Madden 12. The Vikings right now 4-8. Very disappointing stretch of games since trading for wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. I believe it's a 2-6 stretch. Not what we were hoping for. And all we can do right now is hope that we can win out our games and try to sneak in somehow as a wild card team. Not mathematically eliminated yet. So we'll play like we're going to be going to the playoffs until that point and try to sneak in somehow with a 500 record. And so four games to go. And the first First one here is going to be against the Chicago Bears as we try to get back on track, like I've been saying now over the course of this four-game losing streak. And the Bears quarterback is Ashton Glazer. He hands the ball off to Matt Forte. He's going to get a few yards off the right side. That'll set up third down and two. And Glazer hands the ball off left side. Matt Forte is speared by Jelani Jenkins. Fumble on the play. It's picked up by Chad Greenway. And the Vikings are going to get an early scoop and score fumble return touchdown for Chad Greenway. And Jenkins, ever since Stripling's injury, Jenkins, I think he's forced two fumbles. And they've both been very big. This first one was against, I forget exactly who we were against, but that was when he forced it about the one or two yard line. And so the Bears have the ball again, and Matt Forte is going to continue to carry the rock and hopefully hang on for the Chicago Bears. We'd like to force another fumble if we could do so. Third down and nine. Glazer under pressure, sacked by Christian Ballard, who was a very good defensive tackle in the first couple of years of this series, but now he is a backup because I have two other guys that I like there at that spot. And so we're on offense now for the first time with a seven point lead. Kyle Rudolph off makes a catch for seven yards over the middle and then ponders like okay I'll go to the next tight end now Andrew Corliss first down Vikings I actually called the same exact play and just flipped it so uh, <laughs> we go to Corliss that time and now third down and four and ponder is under pressure and he is sacked by Jarrell Worthy and that will end the Vikings drive of course the guards and Matt Burke have not played very well at all this year and now Forte is loose in our secondary and Greenway is trying to track him down somehow and Eric Norwood is even downfield he finally catches him and so a big run for Matt Forte as Chicago is in Minnesota territory Territory now at the 30-yard line. Glazer back to throw. He's got a clean pocket to throw from. And over the middle to Johnny Knox. Complete pass as he's met by Vontez. Perfect on third down and 10 now. See if they can extend this drive. Screen pass was set up right side, but instead they throw a slant route to Shamir Haskins. He's going to get to the one-yard line. So 15 yards in that pass. Now they're knocking on the door. Glazer from the one. End zone. Touchdown Haskins. He caps off the drive. Touchdown Bears. Game is tied back up at 7. And so now we're on offense again. Again, Adrian Peterson takes the handoff, and the line has not really helped him out this year, and the defense has been playing very well against Adrian. Third down and eight now for Ponder, as I don't know what I was doing there. I just telegraphed that right to Percy Harvin. I wanted to throw it to him. I wanted to fit in there somehow, but Kevin Reddick was there. Interception for the Bears, and so they have the ball inside the red zone as they start this drive. Glazer's going to take off now, and what exactly just happened there to my lineman who tried to tackle him and got blocked? That did not look good, but anyways, Glazer gets the one yard line first down and goal and he's gonna throw again they're not gonna run the ball in the red zone they're gonna pass the ball because Johnny Knox is there touchdown Bears 14 to 7 as the Vikings took their next drive now at the nine yard line Gerhardt right up the middle he's gonna get some room to run he gets the first down so the Vikings are now at the 20 and on second down and three only one receiver out for Christian Ponder and that is who he is targeting Larry Fitzgerald hasn't made a huge impact on this team and I'll admit I am looking forward to next year now being a four and eight team but now second down and nine Kyle Rudolph again underneath. He's going to get the first down after making the catch. Five catches already for Rudolph in the first half. On first and ten now, snug shotgun set. And Ponder's going to go outside. Jamez Logan makes the catch as Minnesota moves the chains and is now in scoring distance at the 31-yard line. And the Vikings want to stick to the shotgun offense as Ponder goes outside to Adrian Peterson in the flats, who cuts up field and gets about 16 yards on the catch, bringing up third and six a couple of plays later. And Ponder to the end zone. Touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald. It was kind of a tight throw to make it there, but Ponder made it, Larry made the catch, that's going to tie the game up at 14 apiece, as the defender around Larry Fitzgerald actually got injured, and now with, with the game tied up, we have to stop Matt Forte again with four minutes to go in the first half, and he's not going anywhere on that play, third and nine, Glazer in the pocket, hit by Phil Taylor, he's going deep, and picked off, Morris Claiborne makes the over-the-shoulder catch, and now looks to get some blocks set up and a decent return to the Minnesota 46-yard line, good job by Morris, now can the Vikings do something with this turnover? Adrian Peterson up the middle on second and ten. First down, Minnesota. Only four carries up until this point. Really been throwing the ball a lot more. And then Ponder on first and ten. Can't escape the pocket. Can't escape the pressure. Drill worthy for the second time in this game. And so third and 16. Ponder once again out of the shotgun. But the pressure right through the middle. And that's a sack for the Bears. Ending the Vikings drive. They do nothing with a Morris Claiborne turnover. And so Cluey comes out. He punts the ball away. 
This one's going to bounce inside the 10-yard line and come to a halt right at the 1-yard line. As Sean Clinton Dix goes down and downs the ball at the 1-yard line. And now we got our eyes on a safety, but no pressure. Glazer in the end zone. Plenty of time to throw. He's going to let his man go deep. And it's going to be launched about 55 yards downfield to Shamir Haskins. And I got to start maybe user strafing at least and let the computer control his guys going for the picks. I don't like to user pick against the computer. I think it would be way too easy. And so maybe I got to change it up a little bit. But on this play, Glazer took off. And they actually a holding penalty that was called pretty late is going to erase that run and now on third and 20 they're handing the ball off to Matt Forte for some reason and they were content going to the half then 14-14 we get the ball open up the second half now back deep is to Sharvin Bell taking it from the goal line going to the right side as a good blocks on the outside and then Bell tries to cut it back inside and maybe I should have stuck to the outside but I thought if I was going to get a touchdown I would have to do that and it did not work so second down and eight Fitzgerald over the middle nice catch on the slant route way to hang on to the football first down Minnesota already in Bears territory Hand and off Adrian Peterson up the middle. First down Minnesota on only his seventh carry of the ball game. So second down and 12. Now Ponder still working on the shotgun. He's going to go to the right sideline and Fitzgerald can't hang on. That was not really a veteran move right there by Larry to turn out field before making the complete catch. And so that puts the Vikings in a tough spot now on third and 12. But Ponder lets the play develop and Percy Harvin gets open coming across the middle. First catch on the day, 19 yards. And they hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson up the middle on second and six. He gets four yards in that carry, and so third and 12, two receivers right, but Ponder wants to go left, hits Andrew Corliss, touchdown Minnesota. Good separation from Corliss, and he always seems to have an eye for the end zone. I think Corliss makes some, of the catches he gets, they're all pretty quality. They're all like first downs or touchdowns. Corliss is pretty awesome in this series for me. And so with a 21 to 14 lead now, we gotta go out and play defense, and hopefully keep this lead intact for us as we try to stop Robbie Rouse now, and we're doing a pretty good job against the run. Matt Forte got us a couple of times in the first half, but here's a scare. Keystone Terry is down. More on him in a second. Pitch out right side Matt Forte and we can't stop him. Morris Claiborne can't take him down and he's finally tackled by Big Phil Taylor. But you can see here Keystone Terry broken collarbone insert Jans and Jackson for his replacement. So Keystone Terry's out. Jamel Fleming's out. Luckily here we do force an incompletion deflect the ball away and we do get the stop. They're going to go for the field goal to make it 21 to 17. But this secondary has been dinged up all year. Morris Claiborne had it first, and then Jamel Fleming, and now Keystone Terry. TJ Stripling's also out. Vikings have three starters on defense injured right now. And Ponder, he gets hit and fumbles the ball. Picked up by Adrian, thankfully. So second and 16 as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Mark Harrison over the middle, but a flag on the play. About 11 yards in this catch. But it's not going to matter because the personal foul roughing the quarterback is going to give us an automatic first down. It was on Bart Scott, the ex-New York Jet. You can see here, Ponder throws the ball, he gives him a shoulder, and that is a bad penalty in the fourth quarter. Third down 11, though, the Vikings can't get anything in the first two downs, but Ponder has time to throw Fitzgerald outside and once again can't hang on. He's dropped a few passes lately in traffic that would have been big catches, and so we don't want to see that from Larry Fitzgerald, usually the most sure-handed receiver you can count on in the NFL. And now the Bears have the ball again. Jans and Jackson comes up, makes a tackle. He has to step up and plays for Keystone Terry, who's been great in his first two years in the league. And Matt Forte fumbles the ball. That was forced by Adrian Wilson. He's a very hard hitter. And he, they ended up recovering it. And then Jans and Jackson makes a tackle on Matt Forte on the screen pass to save a first down. So good job by Jans and to immediately step in and play like he's ready to play. Then Peterson fumbles the ball. It's just a fumble fest over here, I guess, now. Luckily, we keep possession. Don't give them the ball inside of our own 25-yard line. Second and one. And Ponder finds Jamez Logan. He threw it behind Larry Fitzgerald right to Jamez Logan. As the Vikings now continue to work their way downfield, hand the ball off. Adrian Peterson right side. Finally a big carry as he cuts right off Larry Fitzgerald's block inside the 20. Tries to cut inside and taken down at the 13-yard line. Peterson's biggest run so far in this game. But then third and 10 from the 13-yard line. And Ponder's going to throw out of the shotgun. Pressure is picked up, but just nobody to throw it to. Ponder scrambles. Nothing's going to happen with this play. And so it's going to be a sack. And Sebastian Janikowski comes out now to make it once again a seven-point ball game. With four minutes to go, he splits the uprights. It is good as Chicago now has to go out and try again with only 3.17 to go right now. Second down and 10. Glazer to throw out of the pocket over the middle. And that's going to be caught by Tate for a first down. They're already at midfield with three minutes to go. A good situation here. Three timeouts. Don't need to hurry. But then over the middle. Johnny Knox again a first down covered by Morris Claiborne on the play as they're now at the Minnesota 20-yard line with a minute and a half to go. 
This play is third down and six. Glazer out of the clean pocket, waiting for the play to develop, and then this lobs it to the end zone, nearly intercepted by Morris Claiborne. And so fourth down and six, Chicago has to go for it. Tight end in motion to the right side now, and Glazer is going to throw. He's going to lob it right side, lead his man, Johnny Knox, who is tackled just shy of the first down marker by Morris Claiborne. And the Vikings now come out. They want to seal this victory. Peterson gets a few yards on this carry, and Chicago takes a timeout. They can get the ball back, but Minnesota has to get a first down to silence their threat, and Kyle Rudolph does just that. He runs a short little curl route, gets the first down, and Minnesota is going to come away victorious with their fifth win on the season. Ponder out of the victory formation, takes the knee, and Minnesota wins here at home, and Chad Greenway is your player of the game. And so it was actually a pretty good game. The running game did not get going, but the passing game was actually fairly effective. There was a couple plays there where Larry Fitzgerald had a couple of drops that could have led to some scoring drives potentially, but overall I was happy with it. Ponder had two passing touchdowns, one to Larry Fitzgerald, one to Andrew Corliss. The running game, though, has been really struggling, partially because I love to run up the gut. I'm not really uh, outside the tackles runner, even though I have Adrian Peterson, and he has that great speed. I like to run between the tackles, and everything between the tackles is horrible for us right now. And so at 5-8, and eight, we're not eliminated yet, but we definitely have to keep track of what's going on in these standings here. And all we can do is try to go out and win football games. And so you can see the injury report, no Stripling, Fleming, or Terry, as we take on the Washington Redskins next week. 9-4, and four, leading the NFC East. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.